Well, it's nice that you brought up like that 15 year old self. So if we were to like invite her here and <laughs> Ooh, I, love these. I love these games. Yeah, yeah. if you were, because I have a 16 year old self that Ooh. I've had to heal. She, they should talk to each other right now. I, I, I think they might be. <laughs> I think they'd be friends. I think yeah, so. Yeah, I have this, this um, 16 year old mm. that I, for a very long time, Jackie, I kind of, there was a lot of shame whenever mm. she came out. She was really angry mm. around things that were happening in her family. Mm. And I've learned through my healing process to like accept her. And like that anger is not bad. Mm. And now I use her and she's helped me in like breaking these boundaries and stepping outside of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. But having to see her has been painful. So um, because of okay. the wounds that she had. So if, if you bring in that 15 year old, cause she's breaking cycles now, she's now <laughs> becoming aware mm -hmm. of all these things. Like, what do you think she, like if she was here drinking mm -hmm. cafe, well she is, but if she was here drinking she's cafecito, here. what do you think she would say? Oh my goodness, wow. What a question. Oh, I'm getting like shivers. I'm getting shivers. Um, that usually means trauma's moving. I'm an EMDR therapist. Are you too. serious? Is that a good thing? Yeah, that means, well, or, as you know, my slogan is healing through conversations. Yeah, we so, love that. We love that. <laughs> We're here for that. So the shivers is yeah. actually your body saying that the, because our body keeps the score, Jackie. It has Say the, that again. What? The body keeps the score what? and our memories. We might not ever have words or memories, Oof. but our body remembers. Yeah. So I feel like your body with the shivers is remembering mm. something right now, Jackie, because I get those shivers all the time when I process. Ooh. Yeah. So what do you think? It uh, uh, wow, Liz. Dang. Um, <laughs> I, I feel um, my body is. Uh, it's thinking about like, oh man, how do I put this into words? Um, I think I knew at the time that I was up against something really big. Um, and at the time, the people that were closest to me were my family. And I knew that they were not gonna be the ones that were gonna be there for me. It's like, it's almost like I knew, you know, I knew it and I, that just, uh, I think I was terrified. Be uh, and, and, and this has a lot to do with a lot of my, my stuff, which is this idea of like, like when I was confronted with any conflict or whatnot, I just sort of would sort of freeze or distract myself. And I think yeah. when all this was happening at, fi at 15, I think I was like, oh, uh, like I def definitely was trying to not address it, but I think instinctually, like I knew that I was up, like it was going to be really hard and which is fine. You know, things can be hard, but it's like, but I knew that I wasn't going to have, my family's not going to be there for me. So think about that. Like most of the time you're like hoping that your family will, will get you through some things that you don't expect. And I just, at the time, like, yeah. So I think the shivers are more of like, Oh my God, like I, it sucks to feel that I was that I was in that situation, but I'm also like maybe the the present Jackie is like, but you you were freaking like surpass like you surpassed like yeah. you work you worked you some you survived like you and like my parents were at the wedding my family was there like it's gonna be okay like I don't know. Mm -hmm. the shivers are also the fact that now we're unfreezing the feelings that that 15 year old had to freeze at that time oh which is and i can resonate with that because my 16 year old had to really like hold like she was very expressive with her anger but there were there's mm. versions of myself like younger than 15 that had to freeze the same mm. way you did and as i've done my work like that's just like it's releasing like you're literally right now I'm giving, feeling it you're giving your 15 wow. year old self like she's a cycle breaker she's resilient what would you name her like my <laughs> like so for mine is like yeah, my 16 year old self is like my rebellious and like she's my cycle breaker i can't even you talk about that i can't picture this oh, like there was just so much happening within my family so my dad both my parents are entrepreneurs and I'm the eldest and there was a lot of like family conflict happening. Mm. And uh, my brother was more of, he's younger than me. So he would mm. kind of like 
hide away. Mm -hmm. And I'm the one that was outspoken. And oh, I so was, there was a fierce, there was oh, a... Oh, she's, she's feisty. Oh, I like yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> but it wasn't um, celebrated at home. Mm. I was seen as um, the black sheep. Oh, you? I'm like, I can't <laughs> imagine. Black you sheep. Like, I literally am like in shock right now. Oh, You're yeah, the black sheep? The black sheep. And that's often when you bring up this self-awareness. You're just a star, baby girl. You're just a star. <laughs> I am not discovering that. But often, going back to your question of self-awareness, like Jackie, yeah. is that we become worse you know you call me a star and i'll accept it but <laughs> in your in our family especially within the latinx community mm -hmm. we're not seen as stars often unfortunately <laughs> they want to dim that yeah. light and bring you back yeah and so um we often become the, the black <laughs> sheep because we're now challenging the norm 